Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and today I'm going to walk you through the new Facebook Ads Manager interface. Um, for anybody who's used Facebook Ads for a little while, you'll know that the kind of Ads Manager side has been changed for quite a while now, but they've made a few changes in, I like to call it kind of the Business Manager and uh, just for the ways that we navigate around. So for anybody who isn't familiar, this is the new Facebook Ads Manager interface. Um, and instead of having everything down on the left-hand menu now, you basically can toggle through uh, from these tabs here. The usual drop down to find your ad accounts is here, the usual dates is here, um, your performance columns and your breakdown columns are on the right as well. Um, and for anybody who would like to know, if you want to find your own Facebook Ads Manager update, just come to this little question mark in the top right hand corner and go down to Ads Manager Updates and you will find all of the recent ones popping up on the side here. The main change that Facebook have made is from this little menu at the top. So this used to be a three burger menu men, uh, type menu, um, but now it's turned into a couple of dots. And when you click on that, what we used to get was uh, a big block would span across, but now it's condensed all down into one menu on the left hand side. Um, straight from the top, you get your shortcuts. So this will be the places that you're using the most. Um, and if you want to expand it, you can as well. I would definitely recommend expanding it if you want to have a look around. Uh, just because there are things that you might not realise where they are, for example, audiences underneath advertise. Um, and if you were to use this menu on the left, uh, we just open that again. You basically have to scroll a little bit day down, and if you see scroll quite fast like I do, you you can quite easily miss it. Um, so as you can see, what they've done is they've made kind of the interface all look the same. Um, as I said, you've got your shortcuts here, so they'll be the ones that you use the most. And then it has different subheadings. Um, as well as the, the usual icons and the new text that they've got to go along with it. Um, and you'll probably notice that there's a few new sections in here as well. Um, so just having a quick scroll down for you now, so you can see how to advertise. You've got your ad account settings, you've got your ads manager settings, your audiences and your creative hub. So uh, the creative hub's had some changes recently to kind of make it a little bit easier for people to make ads. Um, coming down into analyze report, all of uh, your insights and everything like that are all in one place. The brand collabs manager is new um, at the moment. I think it's just a link to an external page, but this is something that's been new popped in there. Um, and then you've got your catalog manager and your commerce manager as well. Um, so, yeah, as I said, opening it up to expand it just helps you make uh, things a little bit easier for you. Um, and just want to go in onto the audience one, just show you how this has changed. I like a page within this menu just to show you how those are now different. And let's wait for this to load. So we see this is uh, this is quite different to what it was before. Um, before it was primarily kind of like a grey block with just a little bit in the middle there. Uh, but on the left hand side you've got some toggles so you can see if audiences are in ads or have been recently used or if they've been shared or if there's anything that you need to action yourself. Um, you can then toggle and see between your custom audiences, your look like and your saved. Um, you can also look and see what the availability is. So, you know, anyone that's ready needs you can use it in that. But if you've just made an audience, it might not be ready yet. So that's just a nice toggle system for you to have a look there. Um, and then you can also see where the source of those have come from. Um, going back on, obviously, if you want to go back to your business home, you can go here. Or your business tools, you go here. Um, and you can go back out as well if you want to. So creating an audience, you now choose on this left hand menu by just clicking drop down what you'd like. Um, but if I go into the custom audience one, there we go. So you'll see there's a couple of extra options now, but this has all been updated for the same kind of visual, the same icons, um, just trying to make things, uh, everything to me kind of looks visually a bit larger and a bit more like they're all standing out individually by themselves now, which I think makes it easier to see and therefore would make it easier to navigate around. But for anybody who's used to kind of that original menu of having it all just expand out at the top, you might disagree or agree with it. But from from my perspective, I feel like it's it's not more difficult to navigate, but it's just going to take some time to get used to. Um, one of the newer updates is that they've introduced a new shopping audience and they've also introduced a new marketplace listing as well audience. Um, and if anything new ever pops up in Ads Manager, you usually get a notification that will pop up and ask if you want like a tour through it as well if you need to. Um, but that's just uh, a quick explained video on how the interface has changed and how the interface has changed on the individual pages as well.